Good afternoon, folks. Big Bo here with another great fifth wheel value from Parkway RV Center. I don't know. I just felt like doing a, a video on this fifth wheel here. I thought it was a cool floor plan for the size. And uh, I know it's missing a couple of things, but guys, if I waited till the awning comes in and I got to put a sofa in it, this thing will be sold. Somebody on a lot will buy it before one of my online viewers have a chance to even see it. So I wanted to go ahead and just put it online. Today we're going to review a 2018 Forest River Flagstaff Super Light. Guys, this thing has got it all, and it's only 9,300 pounds. This is a uh, 2803 BHOK. Man, that's a model number and a half right there. And basically, guys, it's a 31 feet, 11 inch long fifth wheel with three slide outs, outside kitchen, bunkhouse, bath and a half for seasons that weighs 9335 pounds and that that's what that's what attracted me to it because usually you have to get a 12 13 thousand pound fifth wheel to get all these amenities but not with this one so for those of you that have smaller trucks you don't want to buy a one ton dually diesel pickup truck this might be an option for you 31 feet, 11 inches long, 93, um, 35 on the weight, dry weight. And guys, I do have a new power awning ordered for it. It's just right now with supply problems. It's going to be a little bit. Um, and it needs a sofa on the inside that I've also got ordered. That should be here in the next week or so. So, um, but like I said, if I waited till that stuff got here, none of y'all would have a chance to buy this. Or even look at it because somebody... on walking by on the lot we'll just buy it look at this outside kitchen guys really cool uh got a little two burner stove top right here and i like the fact that the door actually gives you some shade and, and shelter from the rain if it's raining uh i like the metal countertop right here base single base and sink got electric fridge led lights got some nice storage little rack over there to put stuff in not bad at all everything folds up out of the way and you even got a little food prep area out here too this is where i like to cook you know i love cooking on the inside too don't get me wrong but uh if i'm just doing something casual like some burgers or something like that i'll just cook them out here at breakfast or something like that i'll save cooking the big meals for the inside just in case i told you the wrong model number 85 28 BH okay. 8528 BH okay. Um, three slides. Got a nice finish on it. Nice and smooth. Fiberglass exterior. Got the Revolution, Reese Revolution hitch system. Gives you a little bit of more turning capacity if you're towing it with a shorter bed truck. Of course, look over here. Both your other slide outs are here. Uh, they look good. This is neat, guys. Pretty neat, pretty neat, pretty neat. I just can't get over how much camper you're getting for the weight. Outside shower, of course, stabilizer jacks, got the frameless windows, a little bit less maintenance that way. I like the fact that you've got a second entry door here in the back that goes into the back half bathroom. So basically, guys, you're back bedroom has got two bunks with their own bathroom and what do kids have to do a lot when they go camping they got to run to the bathroom a lot so this way they can just duck in use the bathroom duck out uh spare tire on the back this unit i don't have it plugged in right now is set up for 50 amps uh electrical service so you're not going to overload your electrical system by having too many things on This is a nice fifth wheel, guys, and I just I love the fact that it's so lightweight. That's what that's what kind of attracted me to it to begin with. And normally I wouldn't shoot them like this, missing the sofa and the awning. But like I said, it's the only way you're gonna have a chance to buy it. Everything's selling quicker, and I can post it online. Look inside. Inside is really nice. No smoke, no pet odors. It's missing the sofa 
And this has actually been a pretty common thing because with the pandemic, a lot of people were doing is they were taking their table or their sofa out of their RV because a lot of people can work from home and they're putting a desk in, computer desk and all that. And sometimes they just leave it like that and get rid of the sofa altogether. So, but, uh, wow. Ceiling fan, 15,000 BTU ducted roof air, stacked stone fireplace, electrical insert, electrical fireplace insert, 50 inch TV. I'm gonna put a matching sofa, probably gonna be something really close to this color right here. Day night shades all look great. You've got the table booth that'll fold down, make a bed. I'll be putting a sleeper sofa in here so you can sleep two, four up here, two in the back and two up front. Little storage. Uh, we got to clean it up. It just came in, but stainless steel refrigerator. I like the Corian countertops too. That's a nice touch and something you don't see in a lot of lightweight fifth wheels, plus an actual oven. Three burner stove top, which I don't think's ever been even turned on, it don't look like. Magic Chef microwave, got some LED accent lights. Let's look to the front first. Step up here, not a lot of carpet in here too, just in your slide out in your bedroom area. I like the control panel right here, so everything's easy to turn on. Of course, right now I'm on a um, my golf cart battery, so I don't have a um, I don't have 110 running to it, just 12 volt. Got the Wi-Fi extender already in. Got the crowned roof, and this is what they call a mid-profile fifth wheel. So it, the bedroom ceiling is not going to be as tall as like say some of the Montanas and Alpines and stuff like that because it cuts down on weight and it cuts down on wind resistance so you can tow it easier with a smaller truck. And guys, you know, this is something theoretically you can tow with a, some of the half ton trucks. Now guys, keep in mind, uh, important factor um, when it comes to deciding if you're going to tow with your half ton truck or not is the pickup truck bed size to get the proper hitch for it keep in mind they can be two three thousand dollars but you got to weigh it out all right if i if i got to spend two or three grand for the right correct hitch for my truck that's cheaper than upgrading to a newer to a different truck with a longer bed so of course, keep in mind, guys, there are some half-ton trucks out there that you cannot tow with any fifth-wheel hitch. That cannot tow a fifth-wheel. Um, I mean, yeah, you, you, they, a lot of people can say, yeah, if you do this, this, and this, you can. But, guys, as soon as you make a halfway sharp turn, you're going to crunch your cab. So keep that in mind. It's a you know half-ton towable is a very broad and loose term because not all half ton truck are even can even tow a fifth wheel so uh anyway front queen island bed but many of them can so you know you're going basically what i'm saying if you've got a half ton truck you want to tow a fifth wheel do your research do your due diligence um i like the built-in usb chargers you've got a closet over here in the slide and then you've got a walk-through bathroom. This is your main bath. And you got a glassed-in shower, skylight. And then you stand up in here just fine. I'm six foot four. I've got no problem here. I just can't stand at the very, very front of this camper. Uh, you've got a fantastic vent fan, RV toilet, sink, uh, medicine cabinet. You know, nothing's bleached yellow from being exposed to the sun. I don't think this one really has. Now let's go to the cool part of it, the back. And again, guys, you'll have a, and this sofa will fit perfectly. Don't worry about that. Fortunately, that's one of the few RV parts that I, I can get pretty steady right now, and that's furniture. Look at this right here. Ain't this cool? Double bunks, and, and the top bunk looks like it's a little bit wider than the bottom bunk. But you got two big bunks, and I'm pretty sure this one folds up. You've got a place for a TV right here. 
so you know your kids can play video games or watch TV or of course now heck everybody uses their phones instead of watching TV it's amazing how that stuff changes every few years but uh, of course you can put Xboxes Playstations whatever back here this is your half bath uh, you got a medicine cabinet nice tall roof another fantastic vent fan plenty of LED lighting um, you know basically pop in the door use the bathroom pop right back out without tracking up the camper which for kids is pretty pretty cool thing to have so basically you can sleep two four six eight people in here you even got room in the floor for a pallet if you want to sleep a few more or a couple more probably way more than you want to carry in a 32 foot fifth wheel ceiling fan so it's going to have a uh, let's just go ahead and just uh it's got the full awning it's going to have the new awning new power awning new sofa all included 29.9 if something you think you're interested in please call right away don't wait because somebody else will buy it before you can if you wait 706-965-7929 let me know what you think about this floor plan even if it's something you're not looking for i just thought it was cool because you usually don't see all these amenities in a 9300 pound fifth wheel three slides bath and a half outside kitchen four seasons and bunks that's just something that you know i've been shooting in 40 plus foot fifth wheels that you got to have a dually truck to tow so 9335 pounds is the dry weight um if you don't know what your truck can tow i put a link in the video description below to our free interactive tow guide you can put in your truck's particulars it will tell you exactly what poundage your truck is rated to tow and if you wish you can push the button on the lower right hand corner to show you every camper and fifth wheel i have in stock that your truck's rated to tow and um whether you buy one or not from us guys that's irrelevant it's that's information that every buyer needs to know don't take the dealer's word for it if you and, and as always guys it's the third party service it's deemed reliable but not guaranteed so before me personally before i would buy a camper based on what that tow guy just just to ease my you know mind put my mind at ease i'd call my vehicle dealer with the vin number to my truck and ask for the service department and ask them directly what it's ready to tow and if you've got a newer truck it most of the time it's going to be in the owner's manual or you can pull it up off the vehicle's uh, website anyway guys 29.9 is a haggle free firm price like i said i'm gonna spend almost two thousand dollars with the sofa and the power awning uh it's going to include our world famous four page inspection process as performed after purchase if you want to see everything that we're going to inspect and guarantee for the price you pay um click on the link below in the video description on youtube and i'll have a link to our four page inspection process also included we're going to buy you a 90 day easy care nationwide limited warranty which you probably aren't going to use but it's for your peace of mind to give you confidence that you're not inheriting somebody else's problems because between that massive four page inspection process that no other dealer does on used rvs and that 90 day warranty you're pretty much covered um from inheriting somebody else's problems and of course you can extend that warranty very very affordably if you wish just ask your salesperson or finance manager for a quote we have financing available with approved credit and down payment we take pretty much anything in a value on trade uh even if it's not an rb so if you've got something different to trade give us a call guys we we love different 706-965-7929 make sure to smash me a thumbs up feel free to share on social media this video subscribe to my channel hit the bell notification button uh comment the more people interact with my channel the more youtube shares it on the on their algorithm and uh, more people see my videos and the more it helps support my channel after all it doesn't cost you anything um to watch these videos and you never know from one day to the next what i'm going to shoot a video of anyway but anyway guys thank you again for watching i appreciate it uh 29.9 is a haggle free firm price there are no added fees unlike other rv dealerships that add thousands of dollars to the advertised price and dock fees prep fees tag and title fees processing fees freight fees etc 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 happy camper fees whatever you want to call them 
That's why you always go by the out the door price, not the advertised price. 29.9 plus applicable sales tax is the out the door price. If you want to know how much your sales tax will be, when and where you have where you go where you have to pay it, whether it's here or at your local DMB office, just ask, just call and ask one of my salespeople. Depends on where you live and how you're paying for it. Long-term financing is available with approved credit, down payment, and if that's something you're interested in checking into, again, the best thing to do is pick up the phone and call our salespeople at 706-965-7929. Uh, delivery is available. We offer nationwide delivery. All we ask you to do is cover our expenses to deliver this to you and get my driver back home as far as fuel and my driver's pay. Guys, We've got a great selection of fifth wheels right now. This is what you're in the market for. Great selection of used travel trailers, used destination trailers, motor homes, uh, and more. So go to my website, link in the video description below, but it's parkwayrvcenter.com if you want to manually type it in. And check out my inventory of well over 100 plus used RVs and more arriving every day. Thank you all again for watching my video. I appreciate it and uh come out and visit with us we're open six days a week uh closed on sundays we're open monday through friday 9 a.m to 6 p.m eastern time saturday 9 to 5 and of course close close sunday for the lord's day and family day for our employees and unlike other rv dealerships guys especially in our area everything's open park where you want look at what you want if you don't want to talk to a salesperson don't talk to one if you need help, if you see something you like, you want to buy, or you got questions about, poke your head in the showroom, one of my guys will come out and help you. Or call them at the office, tell them where you're at, somebody will come out there and talk to you. If you just want to browse without being bothered, without going through a sales office, you can. I mean, there is absolutely 100% no pressure because, guys, I've got way more buyers and I've got inventory like most RV dealers right now. Um, so, I mean, there's no sense in us trying to pressure you into buying something because... And I don't mean this in a negative way, but if you don't buy this camper, the next person that looks at it probably will. And, um, but like I said, new sofa, new awning, 29.9 warranty inspection. You get a full orientation that's done after, after it's been through service and cleanup, which is done after purchase. If you want to know the current lead time for a fifth wheel checkout, ask your salesperson for an estimate. Um, and of course guys we do give you 21 nights of free camping up to seven nights at a time at select rv resorts nationwide we give you a drive out tag no extra charge your starter kit no extra charge and more 29.9 haggle free firm with all those benefits now we will take a little bit off of it if you want to buy it as is what we call the option b price and even at the option b price i'll plug it into power or run a generator and hook it to a generator and let you inspect it before you purchase it to see what works and what doesn't if anything at all doesn't work before deciding to buy it so um, that's entirely up to you i got different ways to buy for different people so if that's something you think you're interested in guys if you want an option b price give us a call one of my guys will be happy to do that keep in mind guys we haven't checked this unit out and when we do an option b price we can't repair anything on the unit but we'll let you inspect it before deciding if that's the way you want to go or if you just want to leave it here and let us do our full option A checkout for the $29.9 price. We just try to give you options. Thank you again for watching. Look forward to seeing you here in beautiful Ringo, Georgia.